Hi guys, yes, I've been busy on the phone and I'm going to clean some house. Um, what I did learn is um, right here, the great seal of the Moapi band of the Paiutes, um, or the Paiutes, they only, um, this, this solar plant is only going to be on their reservation, um, which will be Bureau of Indian Affairs, Reservation or the or the Department of Interior Reservation, um, <clears throat> like BLM is under the Department of Interior. Uh, I don't think I'll get an Indian to talk to me about this, but I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to call the tribal receptionist, who may put me in touch with someone else. I just want to know about this because I saw the pictures, and I'm going to put pictures up on Google and probably Twitter them of what their landscape is going to look like. And most American Indians um, feel like they're connected with nature, and I don't think they're going to like what they see afterwards. I'm not going to tell them that, uh, but it's not my place. It's a really touchy thing for me to be doing this. So, I let's see, we'll go to the Cultural Committee. How about that? 702-865-2081 and I'm going to press talk. I don't know if I'm at the right place. Vocational Rehabilitation Project Input. Our office hours are 8 a.m. to... Well, I don't want Project Input. It sounds like there are a bunch of... Project Input is a um, is for disabled Native Americans. So, um, let's see if I can find something else on here. Um, tribal Receptionist. Seven zero two eight six five. I mean, someone should be able to give me some information. Okay, I'm gonna need my glasses on. This is bad. Two seven eight seven. Um, hi, my name is Linda Littlebear, and I wanted to ask a few questions, if I could. Uh, Alright, this this has to deal with the, um, are the Clive and Bundy's cows going through your reservation? I, I have no idea. You, you, you guys, um, I had talked to someone from the, uh, the solar plant, and he said that they weren't. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that they were strictly, um, you know, the reservation had not allowed that or something. I, he really didn't say a whole lot. I actually, I, I don't know if he knew what he was saying. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I get you, I don't, I, the only thing I could do is just uh, give the chairman to you. Uh, because, no. um, they might, she might know something more than, uh, more than me because you know, like I said I don't know anything about that okay that would be great if you would do that I appreciate it yeah. what is your name my name is Linda Little Bear okay uh, I, I'm from the Cherokee Reservation okay and then uh, what is your number um, it's 360-861-8531 right now I reside in uh, Washington State okay so, um, they're in a council meeting today, so, I mean, when they break or what have you, I'll go ahead and give her your, your name and your number, uh, and we'll see what she, whenever she returns your call. 
I guess I don't know how long their meeting's lasting today, so. Uh, that's okay. I just, um, from what I was looking at on the map, I don't know if the, um, you know, the BLM, uh, uh, BLM land even runs near um, the the reservation anyway, where right. where well, he the area that they, that he was in, well that um, BLM was morally at was up in the Mesquite area. So this had nothing to do with you guys, right? And um, so, do, can I ask you, what do you think about him grazing his cows there? I don't have any comment for that because like I said I don't really know the full detail on that and I just kind of heard that he had like some kind of um, a letter from the state I think back in the day that said that he could do that exactly and and it's kind of this is what I say you you know how they break treaties <laughs> yeah well it, obviously they're breaking a treaty with him where he could right. do that and so I, I was going to go down there kind of on behalf of the Native Americans, and a lot of people wanted to know how American Indians or Native Americans felt about this. And like you said, you thought he had the right to do that, and he wasn't destroying the land and stuff. So I'm glad you put that out there, and I thank you for just saying that. Yeah. Um, so, I mean... Uh, I just kind of heard the talk about it, and um, they were saying that he did have uh, letters or something like that. And but um, I guess when BLM, I guess they're looking into the lands and stuff around this area um, <clears throat> that they're going to be doing stuff with, and that could be another reason why. Well, yeah, because you know, in the Four Corners area, I mean, they're ready to build a new uranium mine without anybody's consent the the indigenous peoples or anybody else's they want to do that and they say it's their land but on their their little thing um that if you google it it says it's everybody's land so i i don't like them picking and choosing when they can use the land and when regular people can use the land mm -hmm. um it's not very fair to any of us you pay taxes i'm sure if you mm -hmm. buy something, I pay taxes. See, I've tried to get this through to uh, other Americans that we pay taxes, believe it or not. Um, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and we live pretty much the same way you do, and we don't. And we're pretty, we're, we're the poorest peoples in North America, and we don't like what's happening so I wanted to get a point of view, and you've done wonderful. Thank you for giving me your point of view. But I did want to ask you about your solar plant. Um, is that going to be, the guy told me to look at the pictures, and it looked like the pictures were going to cover every bit of your land. That's not going to happen, is it? Not not all of our land. That's only just a portion of it. Okay. Because, we, I mean, we got a lot of land, but not all of it's going to be for that solar Okay. Yeah, he gave me the impression the whole the, the whole reservation was because I said they they won't like that. I said they um they like um, animals and insects just like I do, and mm -hmm. and he was trying to tell me well there's a long story, but so it's just going to be on partial uh, just a partial bit of the land. It was no big deal. Right. Cause uh, we still have more land besides that. We're going to have like two different projects going for solar, so. Um, it is, well, for our reservation, it is a big thing, um, but, um, those are the main two things that are happening right now. Okay. Like the upgrades with our plaza center, so. Well, and that's good because you don't have to rely on Peabody Coal and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know if you know where I'm going that with with that, but. <laughs> yeah, because, well, our child, we, we've been battling it with NV Energy for the longest time, so. Yeah, so, you know, well, then, good. You clarified a lot of things for me. I'm sorry that that uh, Reed guy had to go and participate. Um, I don't like politicians. I think they use indigenous peoples for their photo ops, Harry Reed. Um, yeah. And I'm sure you guys have your opinions on that, too. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> always something, huh? But this is your guys' project, not the state of Nevada's, right? Right. It's our project, but I think the only reason why they invited, you know, like these higher officials was because we're like the, I think, the first Native Americans, you know, 
uh, around that having a big this is a big solar project okay that's very good that's like when warm springs in in oregon that reservation put in a dam and um, started their own electricity so, and it was a big deal, and a lot of bad publicity got made, and it was like, why can't we be self-sufficient also, and, right. live, and live off the grid? Um, a nation down the road from me, the Squaxin Nation, and, and that's in Washington, They're, they have to pay for their utilities, and I am not on a reservation, even though they know I'm indigenous. They pay double of what I pay. Oh. And it's really sad. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad. I didn't know this, and good luck with this, guys. And if you don't mind, I'm going to pass this on because I think a lot of people are trying to blame you guys. And I'm going to get this story set straight. How about that? Right. I don't know why they would even try to blame our tribe for anything anyways. We haven't done anything. Well, you haven't so. done anything, but your picture, they have a picture all up with Harry Reid. And see, I was going to go to the Clive and Bundy because I know how American Indians feel about the land, and he wasn't harming it, and I couldn't imagine. And, and it was almost like they put your your tribe up, you know, with Harry Reid's picture opposing Clive and, uh, I think his name's Bundy. So if, if you don't mind, I would like to just tell your story because you're doing it for yourself to be self-sufficient. It isn't going to have nothing to do with any of them. It's mm -hmm. on your reservation. Is that okay? Sure. I appreciate that very much. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.